Are you afraid to fight me yourself, you cowardly snake? <laughs> Guess he didn't see that coming. That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. Had about enough of you and your eyebrow. Who wrote this, a two-year-old? <laughs> oh, don't give me that smug face, Ben Affleck. Where's my real ending here? That right there was freaking luck. His dad's his weakness right there. Shiku Haruka to the face. Oh, go! go, baby. Woo! <laughs> Together, Aladdin and Jasmine escape the Sultan's guards and run to Aladdin's home high above Agrabah. There, they enjoy the view and discuss their dreams for the future. Unfortunately, they are found by the guards who drag Aladdin off to the palace dungeon and Jasmine back to her father, the Sultan. <gasps> She's the princess? She's the princess. Aladdin is thrown into the deepest cell of the dungeon. But all he can think about is the beautiful princess. A strange old man appears offering to set Aladdin free if he will. Come on an adventure to the Cave of Wonders. Glad to get out of prison, Aladdin doesn't suspect that the old man is actually Jafar in disguise. And with that, welcome back everyone to the blind playthrough of Disney the Aladdin for the Game Boy Advance. I am your host, of course, Mr. Spinoza X. And in the last episode, we helped out Jasmine from the merchant who was trying to cut off her arm and everything um, and stuff. We saved her, we defeated the merchant and everything like that. And, you know, we you know showed her around my home and everything like that. And unfortunately, we got caught by the guards and come to find out that she is actually the princess. Yes. So now, pretty much, Aladdin made a deal with an old man who freaking the game kind of spoiled it. Yes, it is Jafar in disguise, just how the movie was and everything like that. And pretty much, um, and then pretty much, oh, Jesus. Um, let's try that again. But yes, uh, now we are in the Cave of Wonders looking for what that old man wants, which is the lamp. Yes. Uh, which, I mean, Jafar, uh, the lamp, which in the beginning pretty much insists and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, also, last episode, we figured out there is some difference in between the Game Boy Advance version and the Super Nintendo version and everything like that. There happens to be... Uh, yeah, there's a, I guess, like a different area um, in the Agrabah market, uh, which is level one and everything like that. So let's see what differences ha are here awaits us in the Cave of Wonders. Yes. And this game um, does, like, compared to, like, other game time games that are based off movies and everything like that and stuff, there will be some where, like, you know, they don't really follow the movie and everything and stuff. This game close, definitely closely resembles what pretty much the movies like set and everything like that. So yeah, but there is one level though that's not entirely in the movie and everything. So yeah, but other than that, besides all that, this game does a very good job, you know, kind of like implementing elements from the movie into the game and everything like that, like the Cave of Wonders and everything. Oh, like the background. And everything where that stairs that leads to the lamp and everything like that and stuff. So, yeah. And look at this freaking treasure. But the Cave of Wonders doesn't want us touching anything but the lamp. So, we cannot touch anything. Even though Abu is tempted to just pretty much touch anything he wants and everything like that. So, yeah. And, oh. What is this? It's a magic carpet. Oh, my. It is a magic carpet. But anyway, enough of that. Time to spin the wheel. It is break time. Yes, freaking love this. I freaking love it and everything. Hold on. 
There's a, they added a new thing. There's a scarab there. Hmm. Wonder what that's for. Yeah, they added a new thing because. Yeah, if I believe so, yeah, the heart is the one to replenish your health. Um, the stars gives you credits. We got a one up and everything, and pretty much there's a two up there. Uh, what did the genie do again? I don't remember. Um, I, uh, yeah, the scarab. Hmm. Wonder what the scarab does. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to try to see what we can see what it does and everything. Hopefully, we can get it and everything like that um, and stuff. And oh yeah. Okay. Yep. This is new. This is definitely new. Yep. Oh. Ooh. That was a close one too. Yeah, this is a new, yeah, this is a new area and everything. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, there is some differences um, with the Game Boy version and the uh, Super Nintendo version. They pretty much implement new areas into it and stuff. So, yeah, which is cool. You know, I actually do kind of like that um, and stuff. I'm not complaining or anything like that and stuff. It's kind of like, um, you know, like, you know, I, I, I do kind of like that, you know, um, and stuff. It gives, like, that the player, like, a new thing to do rather than just... Playing the like, oh Jesus, I freaking, oh, oh my God, I'm doing terrible right now. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Um, but yeah, the, you know, it like, it doesn't, you know, it gives that player a challenge pretty much. You know what I mean? Like gives that player like, you know, a challenge like, hey, I know you've played this game probably so many times and everything, but here we go. We're going to give you something new and everything like that and stuff. So, yeah, I actually do like that. That's actually pretty cool and everything. So, yeah. Um, also, one thing I wanted to mention, too. That was a pretty short level, too. One thing I do want to mention as well, and maybe you guys are wondering if I'm going to do this particular thing. Okay, this is familiar. This is a familiar territory right here. Um, I will not be going for the red gems. I That's one thing I, honest to God, never really do and everything. For the fact that there's some red gems, yeah, there's some red gems you could easily get and everything, but there's some red gems that require, like, like so, like hard to reach places and ones that are like closely to the freaking uh, pits and everything like that. And that's something I just completely ignore and everything and stuff. The only thing um it give the red gems do they give you uh so as you can see it's kind of like um oh jesus i'm doing i'm doing so bad right now i am so sorry guys <laughs> oh my god <sighs> um anyway but anyway uh so the gems they pretty much act as coins like in um like in super mario pretty much like you get to 100 you get a one up and everything like that since this platformer you have a uh, live a uh, heart a heart meter and everything like that um pretty much you get a hundred you get a new heart um uh, a heart container and everything i always call it heart container because that's pretty much what it is it's like zelda and stuff like that like you pretty much uh you know try to get 100 gems and everything like that I, uh the red gems are pretty much double value double that value and stuff um and yeah, it's just <laughs> always just called the heart containers, pretty much. Yeah, there is items where they, you could add it, you could add an extra heart into it and everything like that. But it's very rare. They're always like in like little chests and everything like that. I think I skipped one. No, you know, what? I think I did get it. Yeah, I think I got a couple of them um, and stuff actually in the first level. I don't really remember. I I don't remember anyway. But yeah, uh, I I. Get the, I'll get the red gems that are really easy. Just don't expect me to get the ones that are actually way harder and everything. The benefit, if you get all the red gems across the game and everything, there is a reward. Um, and honestly, I don't really think it's worth it and everything. All it does is, all it is is just uh, at the end of the game during the credits, there's pretty much like little screenshots of each gem you got pretty much. That's pretty much it. But I mean, again, there is some value to it since pretty much they are double the value of gems you could hold and stuff in order to get a new heart container. So just saying, you know, if you want to go for it, go for it. If not, if you're just here to have uh, play it for fun and everything, by all means, go ahead like me. You know, that's one thing I always do when playing this game is just playing for fun, you know. So, yeah. But anyway, whoo. It is the magic lamp. We got it. Mission accomplished. Now time to head back to the old man. Uh, Abu, no! And my game just froze. It's flashing red. 
Uh, okay, that is so weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess it was supposed to point out to... So, for those confused and first time watching this uh, game and everything, pretty much Abu reached for the gem that that monkey statue was holding everything like that. And remember, as soon as Abu touches the gem, as you can see, the cave begins to collapse. They're going to have to get out of there. Yes, freaking Abu. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, pretty much Abu touched the gem, and we're not allowed to touch anything but the lamp. So now we are in this situation. Yes, yeah, so we are now in level three. Um, still at the Cave of Wonders. Now we just gotta escape, which pretty much there's lava flowing, pretty much everything collapsing and everything like that. So yeah, um, and stuff. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the red gems. This one's actually pretty easy to get. Um, if you, oh god damn it, I, it's too late. It's it's definitely too late. And that's one thing I also always recommend people, even when I've, with the times I've done playthroughs, get the blanket. It is very helpful. Um, they it acts as a parachute and everything like that to control your jump and everything. And it comes in handy and everything. Because I gotta say, this version of Aladdin, man, like the platforming in this is, there's some moments where it's really ridiculous. So, you know, that's why I say, you know, get the blanket and everything like that um, and stuff. Um, I will say if you get like a game over and everything, you will lose the blanket um, and stuff. But don't worry, there is going to be like little treasure chests like you can see this one. That one, I do believe if you didn't have the blanket, you'll get the blanket from there and everything. It's a very, very helpful item that you could use in the game and stuff like that. So, yeah. <gasps> Ra, the scarab, come back here. I need you. I need to find out what that scarab icon does. No. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's... Oh, I almost got... Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, it's gone. It's gone. I almost had it. I almost had it. But uh, one thing I also want to mention, too. You don't instantly die. Um, you don't instantly die when you touch... When you fall to the lava and everything like that. You'll get hit. You'll be in the invincibility frames and everything like that. It'll give you the chance to pretty much recover and everything like that. So, yeah. Kind of like Smash Brothers. <laughs> kind of like Smash Brothers. So, yeah. Imagine uh, Aladdin on Smash Brothers and everything. I mean, well, Sora's in Smash Ultimate and stuff. You know, Disney's tr uh, copyright is in the beginning of the startup screen. So, it's like, hey, they could have added Aladdin and Smash Brothers. But I guess, nah. They didn't want to do that and stuff. They just wanted to strictly be... Just video game characters and stuff, so yeah. But anyway, here we go again. Uh, uh, the second part right here and stuff. Still escaping. Ah, god damn it, I missed it. You can't grab that ledge. Just saying right now and everything. And we are literally almost dead. I'm like hoping for like some... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's all good. Um, I'm freaking... I was hoping for some bread or some freaking uh, whole chicken... And stuff, but oh well. Ah, I missed it again. Come on. I am doing so bad. I do apologize. I usually do not do this bad. Again, it's a, it's the Game Boy. It's very different, um, and stuff. It, it it it's very different, um, and everything. Like I'm not I'm not used to like uh, playing this game on Game Boy controls. That's why I hinting is the blind playthrough and everything like that. Um. Oh, gosh. I swear, I always forget this whenever I play this game. The apples. The apples pretty much stun enemies um, and stuff. You could hold up to 99 apples. I hardly ever use them in this whole game. I don't know what it is. I just like, yeah, you know, it's very useful and everything like that. It's very useful, you know, whenever you're you know, stunning enemies um, and stuff like that. But for some odd reason, I never use them. Like, I'll, I'll, I, I'll heart... Uh, Oh, okay, guys, we're back. Oh my god, I'm doing the same thing. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I, oh, dude, if I die in this one, oh my god. <laughs> if I die in this one, uh, I do apologize. But oh man. But anyway, don't touch the ceiling. Don't touch the ground. Don't touch anything. Because if you do, you instantly die. So just saying. You just gotta... It, it took me a while to, fig to figure out the pattern on this one and everything like that. Actually, this is actually a lot more shorter than uh, the Super Nintendo version, actually. Yeah, it's actually a little bit more shorter. Damn. 
you already gone through the tunnel and everything. I, damn, that was quick and everything. But anyway, guys, that pretty much does it for this part of Disney's Aladdin for the Game Boy Advance. This has been Mr. Spinoza X saying good night, good morning, good day, whatever time you guys are watching this video. I promise I'll be bet I'll do better next time.